माई सेल्फ स्मृति गुप्ता आई हैव डन माई बी टेक फ्रॉम जी वी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी पंतनगर एंड माई एम टेक इज फ्रॉम मोतीलाल नेहरू एन आई टी इलाहाबाद सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिस पोर्टल फ्रेम यूजिंग द स्लोप रिफ्लेक्शन मैथड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्लोप रिफ्लेक्शन मैथड इज यूज फॉर एनालाइजिंग द इंडिटर्मिनेट स्ट्रक्चर इट इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर बीम्स एंड फ्रेम्स the small assumption we take is we neglect axial and shear deformations in this the methodology what we use is we use compatibility equations and equilibrium equations to do the analysis so slope reflection method uh, so first of all the sign conventions will be using clockwise moments and upward forces as positive and in this will be using all the joints as rigid joints so what exactly is a rigid joint rigid joint is if there is a continuous beam so there will be different spans two spans are connected with a joint all the intermediate joints are partially rigid and they will be behaving as one so no relative deformations or displacements are there they will be sinking or going up together and if we are applying a moment they will be together moving as one so no relative things are there in between the joints so all these uh, property is for the rigid joint so the equation what we will be using is this in which these are the joint moments this particular thing is your fixed end moments and this is slope and de uh, deflection so we'll be using the equation for identifying the slope and deflection uh, slope and deflection of the given thing so we'll be analyzing this portal frame in which ei is given as constant all the units are in kilonewton and meter so all the units uh, this is 20 this is 40 this is 20 uh, kilograms so this particular thing is your 4 meters this one is also your 4 meters and this particular thing is also your 4 meters so we'll be doing the numberings this is your a b c and d so step number 1 step number 1 we have to identify the fixed end moments first first we'll be identifying all the fixed end moments so this one is your udl so for udl what formula we'll be using wl square by 12 this is a point load what formula will be using will be using wl by 8 so for all the different fixed end moments will be identifying so we'll be doing on this particular side that is your mf ab mf ba mf bc mf cb mf your bd and db bd and nf d b now what generally students commit mistake is they put the formula they do the right things but they forgot to put negative positive or in this particular case they forgot in which direction load it is acting so either they'll be doing b d negative or d b negative so always remember always your left hand side is always positive right hand side is always negative so in this one this one is your positive negative positive so i have written in that particular manner only negative in this particular thing you have to identify in which direction your load is acting so your right hand uh, sorry your left hand side is positive your right hand side is negative so your db is negative and this one is your positive we will be applying the formulas so this one is your 40 divided by 4 and this one is 8 so will be getting somewhat around i'll i'll be doing it here fast fast will be doing this one is your 4 by 8 so um, this is this one is your 20 this one is your 10 and for this one will be having 20 and 4 for the 16 and this one is your 12 so somewhat around will be having it as 26.67 so we'll be writing down it this is your 26.67 this is 26.67 uh, your bc bc was we have calculated it as 20 so this one is your 20 and this one is your 
do not forget to put the units because all these things carries marks so put the units after this your second step we have identified the fixed and moments and we are coming on to the second step second step is your slope deflection equation we will be writing down the equation and we will be substituting all the values so we have calculated the fixed and moments and now we will be substituting it in the slope deflection equations so this particular step is your slope deflection equation we will be substituting we have written all the equations and we will be simultaneously substituting it so we will be checking at fixed end your slopes are zero and in this particular problem they have not given that any support is sinking so your this term is zero in all the equations because no sinking or rising of the supports are there now your a and b supports are fixed so your slope will be zero so we'll be putting we have to check wherever we'll be finding d and a we'll be just putting as zero now we have already calculated the fixed end moments. We will be substituting all these equations, all these numerical terms in this. Uh, the students, what they commit mistake is, if the rigidity is given differently, for example, for AB span, 2i is given. For this particular span, different i is there. What you have to do, one simple trick is there. Wherever you are writing all these equations, here only you make what is the length and what is the given EI for that particular member. So for these two things, your length is 4. In this particular uh, problem, we have all the lengths are 4. So we need not to worry and EI is also constant. But if for example, different length and different EI members are there. So here we can substitute and write so that whenever we are substituting the values, the correct answers are coming. Because what students make mistake is they do calculation mistake and they do not substitute the I or L value correctly. So in this particular thing, your I and your L are constant or same for all. So we'll be substituting it like this. So we'll be substituting it here. And then after this, your equilibrium conditions will be putting. What are the equilibrium conditions? Equilibrium conditions are moment at this particular support because this particular support is your pin joint support. So all the moments will be released. So moment at this particular end is zero. In addition to that, if we apply the equilibrium condition, so your B A, B C and B D, the combination or the summation of all the moments at this particular joint will be zero to keep the joint in equilibrium and in the normal condition, neutralized position, you have to put all the moments from either side of the frame is coming out to be zero. So the equilibrium condition that is your step three. Your equilibrium equations will be putting. So we have already identified that your theta b, slope b and your slope c. These are the two unknowns in this particular problem. What we have to identify from this equilibrium equations, we'll be getting two equations. So two unknown and two equation we can identify, we can solve it. So we'll be writing it, I'm doing it for you. This is your BA, then your BD, then your BC. It has to be zero, this is one condition. And your second condition that the moments at this particular joint, because this is a pin joint, so at this C, B is also equal to 0. So we have two equations and two conditions. We will be substituting and we will be identifying. Let's do it together. Uh, so we will be continuing this. We will be doing it together. What we have done is we have written these equations and we have substituted the fixed end moments. So fixed end moments for B, A, we have this one. We have substituted. Uh, your slope a was already being cancelled so we have substituted like this then your second term bc has come bc for bc we have 20 we have written the equation just like that and then your last term bd has come so for bd minus 10 is a fixed moment and we have written it like that so here is the equation so what we are having we have to put the ei values and the length length is your 4 so we have equal length 
same length for all the sections. So we'll be just substituting and identifying what are the terms we'll be getting. So we have this particular term, this one and this one. So it will be uh, somewhat minus 16.67. Then uh, if we are taking this one. So this one is your 2EI by L. This is your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this one is your 5 theta B and only 1 theta C is there. So your 5 theta B and, and 1 theta C is there. So now we have two equations. One from MCB and one from this particular thing. What we'll be doing, we'll be taking out theta C from this equation. We'll be substituting in this. Or we can take out theta b and substitute in this. So like that we can identify things. I have actually uh, done it before. So I am just directly writing out the answers here. So that we can minimize with the, uh, with the timings. So uh, what we got here is theta c is uh, came out to be somewhat like this. 787 upon ei. Uh, after substituting the length also. And theta b came out to be 2.426 upon EI. So these are the two terms we came out from these two equations. So what students get afraid is if your answers, these answers are not matching with the book answers, don't get worried. Do your question until end means identify all the moments and then only you identify that your answers are correct or not. Sometimes in book, these particular slopes are different but the final answer what you are getting are same. So many of the times happen that students left the question in between and they move forward that this particular question is not happening, it is incorrect. So do not worry if your answers are not matching, do until end and how you identify. First, your this condition has to uh, fulfill at the end and your this condition also get fulfilled at the end. So, we will be proceeding. I am just pausing the video so that I can rub and do the things. Uh, so, finally, uh, we have calculated your slope for C and B. We have we got the answers. We just simply substituted it in the mean equation, your slope deflection equation. And uh, by substituting, I have written all the steps. Uh, by substituting your E items will get cancelled out and here are the final moment uh, for different joints. So the final step normally what happens students leave the question up till this end. They do not make the final moment and the final deflected diagrams. These two also carry little marks. So the answer will be completed not up till here but you have to draw these diagrams at the end. So what we'll be doing for this one, normal uh, WL square by 8 and WL by 4, your normal bending moment equations, we'll be drawing that and we'll be putting all these equations, uh, all these values here and we'll be drawing the final moment diagram and here also, wherever you got the two curves cut, we'll be having the nodal point, the critical point in the graph. So we'll be doing it together. Uh, so here it is, W. L square by A double L square by 8 will be having 20 16 divided by 8 to 40 will be getting it 40 so we'll be having something like that this is your WL by 4 W into L by 4 so 40 will be getting here so this one is your 40 and this one is also your 40 and here it is W L by 4 so W L by 4, 20 will be getting in this one. So we have here 20. So these are the bending moment diagrams with the values. And now we'll be just substituting these all in this. So your A B, A B at this point, this is your 27. So we'll be doing it upwards. Here it is your 27.883. Do not forget to put the values. Many students, they do not put the values and your answers do not get correct. They don't get the full marks. This is your 27.244. Then your BC. BC is this one. BC is your 31. A little above of this. I'll be just putting it like that. I'll be joining this. You have to 
shade it and alternately negative positive negative positive reason you have to put then your VC is zero only so we'll be putting it like that alternate negative positive then your DB DB is your 11.213 this one I forgot this one is 31.82 and your BD BD is 7.574 so this is somewhat like this Alternately, we have to shade it and this will be 7.574. So, negative, positive, alternately we have to put. Now, this particular thing is your critical points. Wherever two curves are crossing each other, these are the critical points in your beam. These particular things are the critical points. So, we'll be drawing a simple deflected curve. So, this one is fixed. So, deflection, deflected shape will come somewhat like this. This is fixed, so deflected shape will come somewhat like this. This one is free end, so it will come somewhat like this. So at these points, we'll be having a nodal critical points in your graph. In this, only one is there, so I'm putting it here. In this, again, two are there, so I'm putting it like this. So this is your moment, and this one is your deflected graph. Thank you for watching the video.